Greetings ladies! It's been a while since you've seen me and I'm going to just rapidly fire the answers to all the things I have to say because it's I have to catch up on two weeks. So let's go. Mo, two weeks ago you were talking about how your film failed and actually I am doing a project where I'm doing a bunch of photos from my Holga and I overexposed my film after I ripped it in half Oh, it was very frustrating, so I had to retake all my pictures, and I'm still in the process of retaking a bunch. So, I understand film fails. Trust me. And thank you, Mo. I had a bunch of fun with my parents. Well, with my mother. I really like my mother. My father, not too much, but he says thank you for saying you liked his cowboy hat. He, it said it wasn't a cowboy hat because it's an Indiana Jones hat, and... That's the only thing we really have in common, besides everything else about us. But he likes hats, and I like hats. So, yeah, we're just a hat-wearing family. Also, I'm really excited that you're using watercolors. They're a lot of fun. You know, that's my main medium, so I like it a lot. And I would like it if you showed us some of your artwork. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Also, I'm really glad that you got all these fantastic Harry Potter news things, because that sounds wonderful. And can you please show us maybe some of the clips of you running around because I can just imagine how adorable it would be. Hillary, you used your Polaroid box to be able to pick a picture for a picture week. And I'm just going to use my memory box because it's just a box full of photos and, you know, little things that remind me of awesome times. Okay, this picture does, isn't of me, but it's my favorite picture, actually. It's my grandmother's 80th birthday. And I adore her, so this picture just makes me smile a lot. And I guess I'll just pick one of me. Um, I don't like taking pictures of myself on my Polaroid, so I don't have very many of me. Um, here's one. Okay. I think I was around 13 or 14, maybe 15. When this, hap when this happened, but um, I was at a pool, and I was jumping in, and that's me. And I had a little inner tube, because I can still fit in inner tubes, I bet. But yeah. By the way, AJ, um, since it's so cold for you, you should get um, hand warmers, and these are owl hand warmers. They are the cutest. You break this little piece. You don't break it, but you pop it and it starts warming instantaneously and it creates this solid eventually like when it cools off it stops being gel and it becomes a solid but you just put it in boiling water and it re-energizes so I think these are a must for anyone out in the cold Don Hillary I just realized that I don't know whether to call you Don or Hillary and I go back and forth so let me know what I should call you also, you sneezing with your eyes open just made me really happy because I didn't think it was possible, and I'm glad that you did it. Ella, I'm so glad you're breathing again, and that's so good to hear. I'm just really excited that your lungs are being a little bit better. Also, you mentioned that you tend to get carded all the time, so do I. I can't buy very much. Actually, I can't even go to like concerts without being carded. The only time I haven't been carded, and I should have been, was when I bought some loose tobacco for my best friend. But I think it's because it was a cigar shop and like 16 year olds won't go to cigar shops because that's an old person thing. But yeah, I was really surprised they didn't card me that time. So maybe if you go buy tobacco, they won't card you. I'm not telling you to smoke tobacco, especially since you have asthma. But if you ever have a friend who needs tobacco, see if they don't card you. I think that would just be fun to try. Well ladies, that's it. I'm not sure if this week had a theme. I'm not sure if next week we'll have a theme. But, bye!